It's your boy down low back for another reply but before then let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry man so road to total slaughter is now available for demand and such in which for 48 hours you can have it for six dollars or if you want to buy it it'll be like 13 dollars but my thing is one they should have had this shit immediately after that shit concluded to begin with and two who wants to buy that shit it's already well known in the motherfucking streets that this battle was pretty fucking terrible but anyway on to today's reply today's reply is to that Ty Dollar Sign sign language and you know what overall man as I look at Ty Dollar Sign I realize that he's not exactly the most talented of singers and shit man he really doesn't have that voice to like straight up blow with you dig but he is able to take what he does have more it with some hip hop man and then come out with some pretty decent songs and which off of this mixtape man there's a couple joints on there that surprised the shit out of me I mean cause coming into this mixtape man I really expected a whole bunch of just plain DJ mustard tracks to keep it 100 but no it's a whole bunch of versatile type joints really wasn't commercial at all man he really definitely did show me something in that light and then I've been hearing from a bunch of people that this mixtape was dope man so when I turned it on the intro came on that intro was dope as fuck. I'm like, okay, this mixtape could actually be as good as advertised. But then you have to skip all the way to the next to last song before you find another good song. And that's that can't stay with T.I., man. Besides that, whole bunch of songs that just really weren't that great. I mean, production, content, everything involved, man. Not even the features worked well for a ton of these songs on this project. But I definitely do recommend people to go ahead and get this mixtape, man, just for those two songs because they are fucking that good. But anyway, on today's article from DownLowPass.com. And today's article was about song titles because there's too many rappers, man, that actually believe that having an intriguing song title actually means something, man. But it doesn't. Like, the only time that people actually give a fuck about your song titles is when you're already made in the game, when people already know who you are and anticipating your music. Not for the people that's trying to come up. People could care less about your fucking title. Really, they're more focused on your feature, which I don't even recommend people to go out and get expensive features like that anymore. See, I remember back when I was in school, man, some kid came to me like, yo, man, I got this song. And it's gonna be dope, man. It's called As I Die Slowly. But then you break down the first letter of every word, man. And what you got is AIDS. When people read that shit, they're gonna be so excited about it. Like, man, no, they not. No one's going to give a fuck. Come back when you got a dope-ass song. Then you can go from there. See, thinking people get excited over your fucking song titles is a stupid, foolish thing to think, man. It's time for people to focus on the most important parts of this music, which is the actual fucking songs. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.